Yeah, probably. I, I like doing the mosaics, although they take a long time to do, so maybe one a year is what I'll probably end up doing. Uh, I have to say that a little bit of it subconsciously came from my brother's relationship with Chuck Close, and I knew his work, and I really enjoyed his stuff, but I didn't even realize it at the time. And then all of a sudden somebody says, oh, that looks like Chuck Close's stuff. And I said, oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I start with a uh, photo mosaic program that I downloaded off the Internet because originally it was I had gone on a trip to Africa and I wanted to make a photo mosaic. And then after I got it, I started thinking, gee, I wonder if I could do this with my faces I was wanting to do. So I tried it first, but then I realized, well, photos wouldn't work because it didn't steer me enough to what colors I wanted, so I kind of created my own palette of colors. So it takes a while to get the right design, but I do use the computer to help so the, the, the height of my cane is only two inches, so I cut everything in two inch segments. Because any, anything longer than that, it tends to change too much from the top to the bottom. And any kind of caning for me, I, two inches is my max. Um, I struggled with, I had, I thought, fantastic mosaics, this, you know, kind of Renaissance pictures. And I was going to Italy, and I was just thrilled to go. But I had been leaning towards, well, I wanted the mosaic to be the centerpiece and not do much around it. But when I went to Italy and saw the cathedrals and the, the layer upon layer of the framework around the windows, I just, it just drew me in. I said, oh, that's what I'm going to do. And so that's led me to this new thing where, with the frames that I have around them, which is... Sometimes I wonder, what, the, what, what was I thinking? Because <laughs> it is not easy to get those frames around in a design with little teeny tiny canes. But if someone wants to pay me for some of my work, I'd be willing to take the money. But I don't do it for the money. I do it for the creative process, the thrill of, and I, I, you know, like any artist, we're thrilled when someone appreciates your work. And I would never do any kind of shows or anything like that. I sell it at the retreats I go to or whatever. But, and I've actually thought about getting to some galleries, but that's going to be a new venture for me. My brother's an artist. Um, we have a wide range in our family. My, my, actually, uh, we, we went in together to make a computer program for, um, it was a role-playing computer game. And the four of us had a great span. My sister and my oldest brother were more towards the technical, the computer side. My other brother, who, who is a real artist, I have a hard time considering myself a real artist. No. <laughs> I know I do. And then I did. So he and I did the 3D modeling of the, of the uh, worlds that you you ventured into. And my other brother and my sister did the technical side. So it was it was a great venture. Uh, I we think because of the 3D modeling that I had done, the cane work kind of came uh, easier to me because I I could understand seeing it th in 3D. I'm getting better at at calling myself an artist, but. It's funny when you think of people that you admire, artists or actors or anybody, you, it's, you don't think of them as real people. And now when people come up to me and they say, oh, you're Julie Eakes, you make those bad things. And it's like, well, everyone's just people, you know? And I have to, I have to say, yes, I, I am an artist. I'm going to keep telling myself I'm an artist. But we're all just people, too.